Hey there, friends and family. It's so great to be here with you for Church at Home. I'm Brittany. I've got a little question for you to get started though. Tell me, what would you do if you saw dog vomit? Oh yeah, so gross. I uh, don't even think about the texture, the, the sliminess, the, the color. I'd probably clean it up, but I'd have to do it with my eyes closed and maybe get my dad or somebody. But let me just tell you, you're gonna learn a Bible verse about dog puke later. And I can't believe this stuff is in the Bible, but I can believe this week's point. God can help me learn from my mistakes. So now let's jump into Connect and here's Dot. Do you know why I love worshiping God through singing and dancing? Because this is our chance to show everyone how awesome God is. He made us, He loves us, He's given us everything we need. He listens to us sing and He watches us dance for Him. I can't think of any better reason to worship God with everything I've got. So get up on your feet and let's connect to God together.
so good. Mm. Oh, wow. mm. so good. Mm. I could eat cereal every meal of the day. Oh, give me a bowl of cereal and some gummy bears, I'm good to go. I know you're supposed to eat your fruits and vegetables, and it's very important, but you just can't beat a big bowl of cereal. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey there, Elaine. Want some cereal? It's the perfect lunchtime meal. Sometimes I don't understand you at all. Mm. Mm. This is really good. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Tony, and this is the time I learned from my mistakes. We have an exciting announcement to make. We've approached Chef Elaine about starting a Connect HQ cooking show. Hey. It's always been a dream of hers to teach other people her French cooking techniques. She's over the moon. That sounds so fun. Yeah, I can't wait to watch it. Well, you can do more than just watch. Making a show like this requires a lot of help. We were hoping the three of you could assist us by sampling the dishes that Elaine prepares. Sample. Yep. Elaine thought that you and Dot would love sampling the food she makes, and Tony, she was hoping that you would prepare the drinks that go with each dish. Oh, the, the drinks. She she wants me to prepare the drinks? It's going to be super easy. She's prepared recipe cards for you to follow. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait. What do you say, Tony? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't, I won't let her down. <laughs> Hooray! Filming starts this afternoon. We'll see you on set. Okay. Hey, Tony! Oh, hey. Everything all right? Uh, uh, you look a little stressed. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, so I have this friend, and someone gave him a job that he's not really good at. So would it be a mistake if he acted like he knew what he was doing and then just hoped everything turned out for the best? Just wait until you try the second dish, Dot. Have you ever tried natto or fiddlehead ferns? Uh, Chef Elaine, are you sure this food won't be, I don't know, too fancy for me? Nonsense. The food might taste strange at first, but it's just a matter of expanding your palate. Oh, Tony, there you are. Oh, yeah, uh, Chef Elaine, I was actually looking for you. Um, I have some concerns about making the drinks. You too. You'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. Just follow the directions on the cards. Yeah, that's actually what I was going to talk to you about. Um... Chef Elaine, we need you on set. We're almost ready. I'll be right there. Can I count on you? Do you have everything under control? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Good. All right, you all look great. Oh, and that soup smells delicious, Chef Elaine. Great work. Thank you both. For this part of the show, we'd like to get footage of Dot drinking the beverage, if that's all right. You got it. Great. We're rolling in three, two, one, action. Oh. Uh, Dot, is everything all right? Yeah. Wasn't expecting that flavor. <clears throat> well, that's okay. Let's try it again. <clears throat> that is, that is something. Could you go for a more, uh, natural expression, Dot? Let's try. <coughs> hey, uh, everything okay? The food hasn't been too bad so far, but Elaine's drinks, they must be too fancy for me. Uh, too fancy? Yeah, you know, fancy foods and drinks always taste weird to kids. They never have enough sugar. Good to know. Man, 
Making a television show is a lot tougher than I thought. Tell me about it. I messed up so many times while I was down there. Hey now, don't beat yourself up too bad for the mistakes you make. Sure, you've flubbed a few lines, but take it as an opportunity to learn from your mistakes. If I could learn not to mess up next time, that would be great. A couple years ago, Maurice and I made a ton of mistakes in one day. And I learned God can help me learn from my mistakes. God can help me learn from my mistakes. God can help me learn from my mistakes. Exactly. So learn from all the times I messed up two years ago. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Just learn from them and move on. It's one of the ways God teaches us wisdom. We're ready for all three of you on set. Let's give it another go. <laughs> okay, guys, you know the drill. Let's get some video of Dot. <coughs> that is really sweet. Oh, Dot, we don't need any commentary for this part of the shoot. Just try to give us a good reaction shot, all right? Let's try it a few more times, all right? Sure. Up. Why am I not learning from my mistakes? All I have to do is keep a straight face while taking a drink. What's so hard about that? Hey, Dot, I should probably tell you that I added more sugar this time because... Sugar? I... Keep it up with the sugar. Enough sugar and I won't taste Elaine's fancy ingredients. Yeah, but I'm... Hey, guys. Uh... Hey. hey, how's it going? I'm still messing up. Teach me something else you learned from your mistakes two years ago. Okay, I can do that. I think I have the perfect verse for you. Great, go for it, let's hear it. It's from the book of Proverbs, chapter 26, verse 11. Say it with me like this. Proverbs 26, 11. Proverbs 26, 11. As a dog returns to its vomit, bleh. As a dog, wait, what? Yeah. As a dog returns to its vomit, bleh. So a fool repeats his foolishness. So a fool repeats his foolishness. Some mistakes we make are on purpose, while others are accidents. No matter what mistake we make, we need to learn from it so we stop making that mistake. Otherwise, we're like a dog that eats its own puke. Ew. Yes. <sighs> are you okay? Come on, everyone. It's almost time to start filming again. Hurry, let's go! Yeah. Let's give it another try, Dot. Ah, it's green this time. Look at it, green. What's in this one, Elaine? Mm, green beans, artichokes, gummy bears. Uh, well, hey, 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 now. Yeah, uh, uh, Dot, I tone it down. What's going on down there? Uh, uh, Tony, what is this? I asked you to make a simple mint limeade. Th this is... What is this? What have you done? I, um... Yeah, is I, this show a joke to you? Are you trying to make fun of me? No, 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 no. Yeah, I've had enough. No. Is the room spinning or is it just me? I, I... Is she gonna be okay? At one point, I thought that she had drank enough sugar that she'd never sleep again, but I think she'll be fine. Well, that's, uh, that's good. So, what happened back there? Honestly, I'm just really terrible at following recipes, and I didn't want to let Elaine down. So, I pretended that I knew what I was doing, and I hoped for the best. And this is the result. I had so many opportunities to tell the truth, and I just let them pass me by. I feel terrible. Whoa. You know, I think there's a video in the archives that'll really help you. I'd, I'd love to see it. <laughs> Great. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God. Searching God's word for things to discover This book is alive Full of answers and godly advice This book is alive See the wonderful stories inside Everything
Is alive. When Jesus' ministry began, he had 12 disciples, but one of the closest disciples to Jesus was named Peter. Peter was a fisherman, and Jesus called him to quit fishing and follow him. Peter had a huge heart and really wanted to do whatever Jesus wanted. Peter even took part in one of Jesus' greatest miracles when he walked on water. Peter was excited about being a part of the kingdom Jesus talked about, but then things took a bad turn. Jesus' ministry on earth was going to come to an end. The night Jesus was arrested, he told Peter that he was going to deny him three times before the rooster crowed the next morning. Peter told Jesus this would never happen, but of course, Jesus was right. While Jesus was on trial, the people recognized Peter as a follower of Jesus, and then everything Jesus said became true. Peter started to argue with them. He told them that he didn't know Jesus. I never met the guy. I told you I don't know him. Peter turned his back on his friend. When Peter heard the rooster, he realized what he had done and went away and hid. Sometime later after Jesus had died, Peter went back on his boat to fish. When Peter and Jesus came face to face again. You would think that Jesus would have been upset with Peter for turning his back on him. But that's not what happened. Jesus did not accuse. He didn't get mad. He just asked a question. Do you love me? Jesus asked this three times. Peter responded with a simple word, yes. After Jesus went back to heaven, Peter spoke before a crowd of 3,500 people. The man who denied Jesus in front of three preached about him to a crowd 1,000 times larger. Peter really messed up when he lied about knowing Jesus. But Jesus loved Peter so much that he forgave him and gave him a second chance. And not only that, he asked him to watch over his church. God gives us all grace and forgiveness when we mess up, no matter how many times we mess up. And so do all of us at Connect HQ. Even Elaine? Even Elaine, I think. <clears throat> I should go apologize to her and do whatever I can to fix the situation. And I should probably apologize to Dot, too, when she wakes up. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Shefeling, do you have a moment? I'm, I'm here to apologize. I am so sorry. I was not trying to mess up your show. I. Uh, I, I, I'm just terrible at following recipes. Why didn't you just tell me this from the start? I, I tried to, I really did, but the more that everything went on, the more I felt like there was no way out, and I didn't want to disappoint you, and I just kept making the same mistake over and over again. I'm not telling you the truth. I, I'm sorry. I, I will do anything to make the situation better. I forgive you. I don't ever make a mistake like this again. Trust me, I've learned my lesson. Very well. As for the shoot... What'd you have in mind? Perfect dot. That looked great.
Hi, I'm Tony, and I'm with Connect HQ. I learned a great verse that I want to share with you. It goes like this. Proverbs 26, 11. As a dog returns to its vomit, bleh, so a fool repeats his foolishness. We all make mistakes, but none of us should make the same mistake over and over. That's like a dog eating its own puke. And come on, that's gross. Peter made a really big mistake when he said he didn't know Jesus. But Jesus wasn't angry with Peter. Jesus loved him so much, he forgave Peter and gave him another chance. And he does the same things for us when we make mistakes. Today, I kept making the same mistake when I didn't tell Chef Elaine the truth. But Mike helped me learn that no matter what kind of mistakes we make, we can learn from them and move on. That's one way God gives us wisdom. So the next time that you make a mistake, don't do what I did and make the same mistake over and over. Instead, think about this. God can help me learn from my mistakes. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Elaine gave me the assignment to figure out what's wrong with these drinks I made. Uh, the, oh, the carrots and the sweet potatoes aren't bad, but I don't think the cheese is good. Oh, oh that's a lot of sugar. Mm. And the eggplant I added is not doing it any favors. I did actually put mint and lime in that one. Maybe I wasn't supposed to blend the whole lime. All of us make mistakes, but we can learn to do better with God's help. And to have God's help, all you have to do is ask Jesus to be your leader and your number one friend. If you wanna make that choice, all you have to remember are your ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. Did you make that decision today? If you did, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. Those ABCs remind me of just how good God is. He gave us the best gift ever, His Son, Jesus. Talk with a parent or a leader you trust when you're ready to follow Him. You can pray together and then celebrate your forever friendship with Jesus. Jesus will always be there for you to help you learn from your mistakes instead of repeating them. We're actually gonna say the Bible verse we learned about that. So, Proverbs 26, 11. As a dog returns to its vomit, bleh, so a fool repeats his foolishness. <laughs> Seriously, can you believe that's in the Bible? It, but it's so true. When you make a mistake, learn from it and ask God to help you do better next time. Don't be a fool. As a matter of fact, I have a game about that. I'm gonna show you two pictures. The second is supposed to be a copy of the first, but mistakes have been made. And so when you see a mistake, point it out to your family and I'll highlight the mistakes one at a time to see if you found them. All right, let's get started. Hmm, okay, what is different? There are five mistakes to look for. Hmm, oh, I see one over there. Oh, there's another one. Time's almost up. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I didn't see that one in the corner. All right, who found more, the kids or the grown-ups? So, did you find all the mistakes before I showed them to you? I bet you did. It's good to look for mistakes so you can learn from them. And you don't have to just learn from your own mistakes. It's wise to learn from the mistakes of other people. So check out the Bible plan about that. It's called Wise Guys. Search for it in the YouVersion Bible app so you can enjoy it together as a family. You can also check out the link in the description to find it. So I've done a lot of talking and now it's your turn. Spend some time with your family sharing the good things that can come from mistakes and what you've learned from your own mistakes. Stay tuned for the cues and I'll see you guys later.